hi i am dr sharjeel and in this fourth video of visual field series we will discuss different glaucomatous visual field defects why these defects are formed well because glaucoma is a progressive optic neuropathy so loss of nerve fibers due to damage inflicted at optic nerve head occurs in a specific pattern now most early defects are missed by routine perimetric techniques so we use new techniques like frequency doubling technology fdt and swap short wavelength automated perimetry to detect defects at an at an early stage so let's uh, go towards the visual fields you can see the blind spot below the horizontal line on the right side in a right eye normal visual fields now early changes are variability of responses in paracentral areas and asymmetry of responses between the two eyes visual fields now patient is able to see but with increased intensity stimulus than the normal now the early specific glaucomatous field defects are paracentral scotomas temporal wedge defect and rony nasal step formation so first look at the paracentral scotoma how it looks like usually it is located in 10 to 20 degrees of visual fields but here it is superior nasally closer to the fixation because the patient was of normal tension glaucoma where the defects are closer to the fixation now look at the temporal wedge defect now how to differentiate temporal wedge from the nasal step well orientation of the visual field chart is very important first locate the blind spot now here it is on the left side blind spot is always in the temporal field so you will get the wedge defects also in the temporal field so you can see superior temporal wedge defect clearly now comes to the rony nasal step now again see the blind spot and nasal step is always opposite to the blind spot so here nasal step is seen on the left superior to the horizontal midline and it represents difference in sensitivity above and below the horizontal midline in nasal field so as the visual fields deteriorate in glaucoma more paracentral defects are formed and when the paracentral scotomas they coalesce with the blind spot that is called sedal scotoma look at this visual field blind spot on the left side below horizontal meridian and joined by the paracentral scotoma above horizontal meridian and also can appreciate the enlarging nasal step on the other side joining with nasal paracentral scotoma so this has got sedal and nasal step when the sedal scotoma is joined by further paracentral scotomas in an arc like fashion in an arc like pattern arc weight scotoma is formed respecting the horizontal meridian around it is around the fixation point due to involvement of the arcuate nerve fiber bundle now look at the arcuate scotoma the superior arcuate scotoma in this other patient eye you can see the blind spot at the right side so it's the right eye glaucomatous arcuate scotoma shown in this visual field now as the visual field defects progress in glaucoma more and more fibers around the arcuate they are involved and result in horizontal hemi field defect or altitudinal scotoma look at the inferior altitudinal scotoma in this patient visual fields and now superior altitudinal scotoma in the other patient i so that's how altitudinal defects are seen respecting horizontal meridian when more damage occurs superior and inferior arcuates are formed and when they becomes continuous in advanced glaucoma ring scotoma 
is formed along with the ring scotoma there is a small temporal island of vision also spared at the end the tunnel gradually constricts and the temporal island also disappear at this stage disease can be followed by the central 10-2 perimetric strategy at the end slit like tunnel is preserved before complete visual field loss so in this video we have discussed in detail different glaucomatous visual field defects and i hope after watching this video you will be able to understand the different defects and in the next video we will discuss the neurological visual field defects along with the examples thank you very much